Hey guys, Tim here. Today we're going to do a quick unboxing of the AMD FX8 Core. This is the FX8320. So not the 8350, the top end, but it's the one one down. So the only difference is uh, this guy's base clock and turbo clock are a little bit lower. But for uh, this is for the uh, $1,000 build I'm doing, and it saved you know 80 bucks by 70 bucks by going with a little bit slower one and <clears throat> when you're trying to keep things to a thousand dollars that's what you do so it is still unlocked though it's still a black chip and let's go ahead and get her open so because this is going to be used with um, for gaming but also for encoding uh, that's why I went with the AMD part and most of you guys know uh, I use Intel parts in almost all of my personal builds exclusively except for my media center PC <clears throat> so we have the user manual how to socket the chip we have <clears throat> uh, I'm not necessarily going to call it a better heat sink than <laughs> a somewhat better heat sink than comes with the FX or the uh, the AM uh, twos. So personally, what I would do with this is I'd actually keep it, see if it's any quieter at all. Although the off center sticker doesn't scream confidence in me that that fan's even balanced um, but it is definitely a nicer heatsink than what comes with the uh, the Trinity uh, APUs so you know if you buy one you don't want to use it like we're gonna use an aftermarket cooler on this build so if you buy one you don't want to use it then you know throw it on some other PC that has a lower power processor so inside the case we have your AMD FX unlocked badge if you're into that kind of thing and the chip itself and of course the difference the uh, the main difference other than you know performance and uh, heat and cores well okay just about anything from an Intel chip is that these still use um, actual pins whereas the pins on the Intel sockets are all on the board now so just something to keep in mind, you need to be a little bit more careful with the chip itself, but not quite as careful with the board itself. So that's Tim for Timmy Tech TV, a real brief unboxing of the chip itself. You'll see this in the build guide um, coming sometime. It will happen because I have to build it for somebody else. So like I said, this is Tim. Please subscribe, guys, and we'll see you next time.